The driver is going at least 100 miles per hour. If anyone ever wants to rob a bank, yeah. it will be your getaway driver. <laughs> take that driver. Now the driver has <laughs> taken his seat off and put it in the road. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We have woken up in Medan in Sumatra, and today we are heading to our first exciting destination, which is. Do you know the name? <laughs> <laughs> I love that Sam has no idea where we're going. I don't know ever. where I it am just, right now. It just follows me around. I just get told the where to go and what time to be there. <laughs> Well, we are heading to Bucket, Bucket Luang. Oh, you did know. Yeah, well was, done. <laughs> we are going to see the orangutans in the wild. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This has literally been on my bucket list for years, hasn't it? Since we met. Since we Eight met. Eight years ago. Yeah, and we were supposed to go before COVID, but then obviously COVID happened. And literally a few days before we were supposed to go from Bali, it was cut off because of COVID. So now we're finally here and we're going to brave the public transport today. So we're going to show you exactly what it takes to get to Bucket Luang from Medan by public transport. So before we set off, I want to show you this miraculous invention. Everywhere in Asia has something that we call a bum gun. It's definitely got a different name, but it's just a hose that you use. You've finished on the toilet, but this toilet has one built in. Look at this. So you twist this, I'm not gonna do it, because Sam done it yesterday and it squirted all over my face. <laughs> but when you're on the toilet, you just do it and it's just it just comes out like a hose and cleans you. It's insanely cool. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that because it's pretty funny. <laughs> right, let's go with you. This is the bus guys, like, it's not too bad and there's no one on it right now. I've got my trusty fan because there's no aircon. We really didn't want to pay up front because we heard that there's people that hang around the buses that take the money and they're nothing to do with the bus. But the driver was waiting outside the van when we got here so we've given him the money. It was 50 each which is about £2.50 per person. So at the end of the day even if we do get scammed like it's not that much to worry about, True. but hopefully we won't because we like to have faith in people. <laughs> Before anyone gets on the bus, we can enjoy our food. Mm. Needs filling. Right. It's nice, really but needs filling. Good for the price, isn't it? Mm. Now this that one looks really unreal. Good. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Okay. It's stuffed with chocolate, look. Mm, 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 mm. Apparently these guys drive really crazy. So apparently. Uh, apparently yeah. Every time she gets on a mini bus, she's always asleep with it. Because it's hot as hour. well. It's hot and like it is hot. sleepy. And yeah, we're really sweaty. We're in an episode of Wacky Races here. It literally is Wacky Races. <laughs> the driver is going at least 100 miles per hour. Of 
we've come out of the city and we're really close to Bucket the Wang, but it kind of doesn't look jungly. It's so many palms, and it's because we just passed a palm oil mill, which is really, really sad because palm oil is the main cause of deforestation, which leads to lots of orangutans in the wild. So we feel like really sad because there's not many of them left, and obviously, like it's understandable why places like this make palm oil for money and stuff but it just, it's just still sad because orangutans can't live in that environment so we're really lucky that we're able to see them while we can there's not many left in the wild so definitely need to come here and see them while you can if we thought we'd seen it all now the driver has taken his seat off and put it in the road charge us again which is all good so we didn't get scammed thank you <laughs> our driver was really nice he kept smiling oh so sweet right, now we're going to get a tuk tuk to our accommodation which is eco travel this is an old school tuk tuk i love it thank you hey. <laughs> It's been so long since we've been on what we call a proper tuk-tuk. Tuk -tuk. Not the fancy ones that Grab uses and stuff, no. which is like all modern. Doesn't this, count. Is, this is a proper tuk-tuk. We love them. We spent a lot of time on them in the Philippines, didn't we? <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that, but Rhea's moaning already. And we're 30 seconds into a 20 minute walk. I think we're going to see you guys when we get there. June. That walk June. June. is no joke. It's about 100 degrees. It was like this. I really want to jump in that river. I have to find out if there's any leeches. <laughs> Travelling's hard work, guys. I only get the ump when I've got to carry that massive bag. Any other time, absolutely fine. As soon as someone tells me I have to walk with that long bag, that big bag, a long way, angry. Oh. Can I pour it on my head? Three my Thanks. No, love it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, my friend. Yes. You, you yeah. The driver. Crazy driver. Crazy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Right on the river. Oh, look how cute this is. This one the water, yeah? Perfect. And uh, hope you empty, yeah, just to come. This one, we need water, yeah, before you, yeah? Oh, it's a beer. Oh, oh there's a beer this waiting one. for me. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. So guys, we're going to end the vlog there. We hope you enjoyed watching us struggle <laughs> all the way to Bucket Lawang. Although honestly, it wasn't that bad at all. We thought it would be a lot worse. Three hours, very hot, but literally so cheap. Even though the driver was driving crazy fast, it yeah, really was He got us in good time. Yeah, and he yeah. was really nice. So yeah, we're just going to chill out now, have a beer, enjoy the views of the river, and we're going to end the vlog there. Stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow to show you around the town of Bucket Lawang and then the following day we'll be up bright and early to take you on the tour with us to see the orangutans. That is so powerful. Oh look it's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh.